Okay, so today we're gonna do a book unhaul. I have a lot of this type of video coming this week. We have, we're gonna do an unhaul, we're gonna do a haul, we're gonna do a 2021 bookshelf tour, which I already regret and I haven't even filmed it yet, but I don't keep all of my books. I get rid of books that don't really work out for me that uh, I didn't enjoy enough to be really talking about a lot on the channel. Um, and I'm also going to be getting rid of some old books that I used to love and aren't they don't fit my taste anymore. So all of these books are going to the library, but I figured before I send them to the library, you guys might enjoy seeing what I don't want anymore for some reason. So let's just get into it, I guess. The Hunger Games. I had two sets of these. I had a paperback set and a hardcover set. I kept the hardcover set because this is still a series that is a lot. There's a lot of nostalgia in this series, but I don't need two sets of this series anymore. So the library gets one. The Lunar Chronicles. This is a young adult sci-fi series that I used to love so much and I've kept on my shelves because of my love for them, but I don't think I'm going to reread them because I, I did love them and I think that if I reread them, I wouldn't love them on the same level and I don't want to ruin that. I just want to keep loving them. So they've, they've just been sitting on my shelf. I don't even know where the first book in the trilogy, I mean series, is. I must have lent it to someone and never gotten it back. So it's it, the library. Along with the Lunar Chronicles, I have Wires and Nerve, which was the first graphic novel that came out as kind of like a sequel. Um, and I never continued on with the graphic novels. Actually, oh, I annotated these. I'll, um, or this one I did. I'll just give this to my niece because she's really into the series and I already gave her stars above. The Grisha Trilogy, as well as The Language of Thorns, which is beautifully illustrated. Just again, not the series for me anymore, but I did love it back when I read it. To all the boys I loved before in PS, I still, no, yeah, PS, I still love you. I already got rid of the third book because I didn't annotate it, but I annotated these, so I couldn't get rid of them, so they've just sat on my shelves. But why are they still sitting on my shelves? I don't know who who I could give these to since they're annotated. I can't give them to the library. I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but they go as well. This is a trilogy that I really enjoyed, books one and two. Well, I had mixed feelings. I had mixed feelings about this trilogy, but overall I enjoyed reading them, but I didn't like book three. Everybody Sees the Ants, a uh, one of the first more heavy hitting contemporaries that I read and I loved it. But looking back, I don't want to reread it because it does have some flaws as well. And I'm afraid that going back to it, those flaws would bother me a lot more. It's just not, it's just not one that I think I would love as much. Now, oh, I should have, Talked about this with the Lunar Chronicles. Fairest, I hated that book. The Storied Life of A.J. Fickery. This was a recent read. I hated that book too. I know it's a really well-loved book though, so all the love to people who love it. Recursion by Blake Crouch. I really enjoyed Dark Matter. Uh, I didn't like Recur Recursion as much because it was so similar <laughs> to Dark Matter. And plus I didn't feel any stakes at all. So I think the library will appreciate it more than I do. Furies of Calderon. I read the first book and I enjoyed it, but I didn't enjoy it enough to continue on with the series. I really don't think I'm continuing with this series, so I'm going to donate it. Wait For Me, which I spilled something on the cover of. You don't have to look at that. That's a young adult historical fiction that I loved when I read it, but I probably won't reread it, so someone else could potentially enjoy it more. Dragonflight, I didn't like this. Shadow of the Wind, this was a DNF. Um, I really wanted to enjoy this, but after I was struggling with it and I was talking about it on Instagram, I got several DMs, people saying that the English translation of this isn't good. And uh, the original book is so beautiful, but the English translation really kind of butchers a lot of it. So I think that's probably why I didn't enjoy this as much as I wanted to. So it didn't work out for me. So I'm donating it. Crier's War. I enjoyed this. I gave it three stars. I had a good time reading it, but it's not one that I am going to be recommending a lot because it was kind of like in the middle for me. And it's not one that I'll reread or continue on with the series. So it's getting donated. I Love You More. This was, I think, the first thriller I read. And I really, really enjoyed it. And I still remember it really well, but I don't reread thrillers. And I've since then read thrillers that I've enjoyed a lot more than this one. So I probably won't talk about it a lot on the channel. Ultraviolet, another book that I enjoyed. I had mixed feelings on this one, but I'm not gonna reread it. I'm not gonna continue on with the series. 
The Beauty in Breaking. I I think I gave this four stars. I did really enjoy this, but I know I'm not rereading it because it was really, really hard to read. So I'll pass it on to the next person. Don't Look Back, another one of my first thrillers that I ever read that I loved. But again, I've since then read thrillers that I enjoy a lot more. So I probably, I mean, I know I don't recommend it on the channel. Not because I'm against it, just because it's, it, it wouldn't make my list of recommendations. And finally, the end of this video is going to be book of the month books that I'm donating to the library. So I work with book of the month every month and they send me all of their picks for the month so that I can show off like all the options of that month. And I always keep two, usually I keep about two of them and I read them or I have them high on my TBR and then the ones that don't interest me as much, I donate to the library. So these are the ones that didn't make it onto my immediately read or my TBR list. People like her, this is a thriller about a woman with an online presence and a stalker comes to get her. And that's like my worst nightmare. So I'm not gonna read that. Memorial Magic Lessons, Outlawed, Transcendent Kingdom, and The Invisible Life of Addie R LaRue. Addie, Addie LaRue. Ha ha! So this was just a short video showing you all the books that I plan on getting rid of soon that I'm unhauling for various reasons. I hope you enjoyed it. There will be a bookshelf tour as well as a Christmas haul coming soon. I post videos every Tuesday through Friday. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye. Oh no.